Petals speckled on the floor and roses in giant vases dotting the set. An ambience synonymous with love and romance. This beautiful setting, all for one lucky couple, Cecilia Musharia and Hassan Walali. The lovebirds were the lucky winners of a couple's treat on Valentine's Day, courtesy of KBC Morning Show, Good Morning Kenya and the Panari Resort Nyahururu. Cecilia and Hassan were treated to delicacies and gift hampers during the program. Interestingly though, Cecilia remained in the dark. The whole time Hassan tried his luck at the draw, only to be notified of the win at the 11th hour. Then we reached here and I was like, your series are going to KBC to do what? At here, I want something. What did you win? The text and everything. How did you start? How did you do it? So till when I reached here and we saw everything, that's when I was, yeah, I'm not dreaming. It's real. Wednesday morning, after beating traffic and getting to the set, the two would leave the media house with different titles. These after Hassan took the bold step of asking Cecilia to marry him. At first, I had planned to propose to her next month on her birthday. It's supposed to be on 19th. But uh, when uh, I found out that I've won the couple with the Panari, I just thought that it's the best time, the best moment for me to propose to her. Miles away in Mombasa County, another couple exchanged nuptials in style. Victor Kamau and Eunice Wangeshi and their entourage later snaked through the coastal streets. So, kwa sababu ya kufanya na harusi na hizi tuktuk, piajo tuktuk ni tumeonelea ziko more comfortable inside. Na imekuwa, budget yangu imekuwa ndogo. So, nimeamua nifanya na tuktuk. Kwa hivyo kivya yangu mi naonelea nime. I'm glad that today my day had finally come. I and my husband managed to work out on our bills and we chose piajo rumanza as our as a mode of transport during this wedding because it was much cheaper and the company itself Kai in general helps us to finally come up to this day and become and become successful in malaba a middle-aged man attempted to take his life after he arrived home to find his wife in the hands of another man francis obogita acting on a tipo from a colleague decided to take poison and is admitted at a local hospital though likely he is out of danger. Finally, the Kenyan National Blood Transfusion Service, together with various stakeholders, organized a blood donation exercise to ease distribution of blood and blood products to hospitals. The team chose Valentine's Day to send a message that love should consistently be extended to all those in need to also make them feel special. Uh, today is Valentine's, it's a day of love, and uh, we are saying that the best way to express love to somebody is to donate that unit of blood and the person you're donating to you'll never see them you'll never meet them uh, they are strangers to you but you are donating you're loving somebody you'll never see so really it's a it's a it's a very important thing for 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 us as, as kenyans and as human beings Bruce, Gakufo, Channel One, News Hour.